What is up, everybody? This is Ty962, guys, and I'm back with another video. So this video is going to be a little different. For the first time on my channel, I'm going to be doing a top five. And this top five is a special top five. My top five, I think, are the best Super Smash Bros. characters. My mains. My favorite characters in the whole game. The characters that I can use the best. Now, I made mean, this, this is all opinion, okay, but... These are personally my characters that I can play the best as. Um, this is gonna be my first top five, guys. So don't don't um get upset if I messed up a lot, alright? Um, but let's see if we can get this top five in the bag. I'm gonna be doing top five, not just today, but every Sunday and every month. Not every now. That's not what I meant. I meant like once or twice every month on a Sunday, I will do a top five. So. If I can do another top 5 in January, I will, but if I can't, I already did the first one. But it, there are going to be a new thing to my channel, and I am really ready for this. Uh, like I said, my body is ready, but um, jokes aside, let's start getting into the top 5, my personal top 5 best Super Smash Bros. characters. So let's get into this. The key to Number 5. I honestly think Robin, one, he... You wouldn't think Robin would be so good. People always assume Robin's a bad character. But honestly, I think Robin is a very good character. Honestly, he, he's one of the most multi multitasking characters. Very tactical in a way. And you have to be tactical with him. Like, if you're not tactical with Robin, you pretty much aren't going to win. And, like, I see Etika play a lot, because I watch his channel too. And his Robin, he's really good. The difference between my Robin and his is that I take more time to think before I move, and I like to mix things up. Like I like to charge my thunder, and then when they kick it, when they see me start charging my thunder and they come closer, I throw an arc with them, arc, arc on fire at them. And after I throw an arc fire, I throw another arc fire at them. Like I try to comp chain it, and um, if they're like right under me, I will try to spike you with the L win. Now Robin. He's quite good in Smash Bros. Most care people, if you're not good at multitasking, you can't use him in the first place. He, his ability to use magic and swords and his swordsmanship is some of the highest standards. Like you have to know how to use his magic, and then also use his sword, swordsman, like his Levin sword, his Elwin, and then switch to Thunder, and then Arc Fire. His El Levin Sword, Elwin, Thunder, and Arc Fire are some of the strongest, and I say strongest, those are his strongest kill options. That and his back throw. Those are his kill, best kill options. And, well, I think that pretty much wraps it up for Robin. Um, he also has a good recovery. Um, it's not that good if you get spiked, though. If you're spiked, you're probably not coming back, so don't be shocked if you don't come back. Characters like that are like Pit or something. Um, Anyway, that wraps it up for Robin. Number four. Donkey Kong. I have to admit, Donkey Kong. I have gotten really good with Donkey Kong. He's a heavy character that is a powerful and tough to kill. Like, honestly, Donkey Kong, he's like a big tree. Like they say, his arms are like tree trunks. But then he's like a tree himself. He is so hard to knock down. He is so hard to kill for characters like, I don't know, like on Sonic. Hit. Characters who don't have power, they are they take longer to kill a Donkey Kong or a Bowser than any other character. But Donkey Kong is my better character. He has a good recovery when it comes to getting hit horizontally or diagonally. He could probably recover. If he gets hit, like if you get spiked with Donkey Kong, you're not coming back. You're pretty much dead. So don't be shocked if you're not coming back. Donkey Kong has probably the most kill option well I can't say he has the most it's, it's the most when he your opponent is really damaged his back air can kill us his up air can kill his down air can kill. now Donkey Kong has like three different spikes I don't know why he has three meteor attacks he has his down he got his down air then you have his down special then you got his, his side air that all those all kill all spike, they're all meteor smashes, believe it or not. And then Donkey Kong has one of the most useful things I've seen, like Mewtwo King, like these big names, these big people use. 
they they use his cargo throw into up air and it's so effective when you have platforms or even when you're on final destination type stages it racks up damage and it can kill at early percentages i've seen mutsu king kill people at 93 percent i've killed people at 93 percent i've killed pe so many people with donkey kong already all donkey kong's moves are very good and usually when the person is at a high percentage you all you have to do is a side 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 smash or down smash and it pretty much kills them or or special either one it will kill and that's why I took Donkey Kong is my number four number three is my man Mario now I'm telling you Mario you wouldn't think he'd be so good because coming from Brawl Mario wasn't that good as a character but they improved him a lot in this game and they finally made the mascot of Nintendo a challenge to Sonic now pretty much he's one of the most balanced characters in the game now Officially, he's not too slow, he's not too fast, but he's not that ch he's not too weak, but he's not overpoweredly strong like Donkey Kong. His recovery's not the best, but it can get you up there. Like he he's so good in balance now. He 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 has great recovery now. His recovery used to be really bad because he was not agile. Now he he's a he has great agility, and he can pretty much recover from almost any attack if you're still alive because all you have to do is jump cape and up 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 and if that doesn't work that means you were just too far and you couldn't recover at all but like i said his grabs are one of the most efficient things to use on people using a grabbing comp usually a grab down like a down grab and then either using your up tilt or down tilt is the most effective way to rack up damage on people using mario Usually I see people use grab and then up B. That's That's been coming a thing too. A lot of people do that as well. Uh, my favorite though is the down down grab and then up tilt. And then I like to I, then I like to use the up airs as well. And if, I, and if they're falling in the right spot, then I'll do up B. And I'll just keep racking up more damage. That's one of the most effective things I find, you know, Mario useful for. His cape is great for fooling people. Especially with people like Donkey Kong or um, Sonic, like people who have recoveries that are really leaves them very vulnerable. Um, not the villager, because he just he's too hard to kill with his freaking recovery. Uh, like Duck Hunt, like those characters who take a long time to recover and they're very vulnerable. They are the most efficient to kill with a cape because all you have to do is spin them around and it's going to confuse them. They're going to go the other way instead of the right way. And all you have to do to Sonic is either spin him around or try to scare him to where he'll he'll um, dodge it in the air and then he'll kill himself. Um, one of Mario's most main kill options people use is his spike. His spike is one of the most easiest things to hit on people. It's, it's so wide range. Like the way he hunches over and just spikes the opponent is so effective because it, it can confuse people. And if you don't spike him and instead hit them, it'll hit them far enough because it's so powerful. It's like a mega punch. Like even if you don't spike them, they'll they'll get sunk the other way and they'll still probably die if they have a bad recovery, or it'll just kill them because you just powered them out. Um, and the best part about Mario is that he's easy to learn how to use. He's one of the first characters you probably pick up and use and become the best with. He's very basic, but he's easy to master and learn these cool tricks that can beat some of the top tiers like i'm serious mario is no joke when it comes to fighting and he shouldn't be kept as a joke he should be taken seriously at any time just because it's mario does not mean you don't be taken seriously he has great spacing with the fireballs he has a great combo um setup with his grab and he has a spike that is the most efficient that's the best spike to hit on people that's why Nario is my number three. Number two, Captain Falcon. I would think I would ever get good with Captain Falcon because I despised him in Melee. Because in Melee, Captain Falcon was just so annoying to beat. And he was such a pain in the butt. But I learned how to use him. And I have to agree, Captain Falcon's a very good character. Just because he's overrated doesn't mean he's a bad character. Or anything he can be overrated he is he should be overrated the way he is he should be an overrated character it makes sense 
um, he is the second fastest character in Smash under Sonic. And he has great speed and power when you think about it. He's one of the fastest characters in the game, the second fastest. And he has one of the, he has immense power. That is a problem to power characters and speed characters. I have to admit, when I use Sonic, I have a lot of problems, you know, trying to avoid Captain Falcon because he's just as almost as fast as me and then he has more power than Sonic. So he's a very hard opponent to kill. Captain Falcon has many, and I mean it, many kill moves. He has his elbow, which is his um, side smash, his falcon knee, his falcon punch, his falcon uppercut, his back air, his down air, which is his fight, and his up air. They all kill. And some of them can kill at early percentages. His falcon knee kills at really early percentages. So does the falcon punch. And, and the uppercut it can trick people into making wrong mistakes. It can also spike that his uppercut can also spike too and be used as a recovery option. And even his up air can probably possibly kill if you get him in the right spot. It can also stage kill you. And it's just about he's very versatile as a character. Think about it. Speed and power. Who wouldn't who wouldn't use speed and power? That's one of the best things you can possibly get. You know? Because one minute he's chasing you down, comboing you, grabbing you, and keeping up and just making you confused because of his speed. And the next minute he's going to finish you off with a knee or something. Making him very dangerous as a character and a very pain in the butt for all types of the face. If you're slower than Captain Falcon, you're going to have tra problems doing... Because if you make the wrong move and you're slower than him, you're pretty much going to get screwed over it. And, so and Sonic, even though he's being the fastest character, he has a lot of problems facing Falcon because of his speed and keeping up with him. That's the thing that makes Sonic good, is his speed. And if you take that away, Falcon pretty much can beat Sonic. Especially with his power. But, Falcon is not my number one. He is my number two main. And, I guess, guys, I will make some honorable mentions, however. Uh... I guess you can say, I'm also good with other characters, but I use these characters more for fun. More of these characters like, um, Fox, Villager, and... I guess you can kind of say Lucina, but I haven't used her in a while, so... You know, it's been a while. But anyway, guys... I guess I should get on to my number one character in Smash. My number one... I think... Okay. My number one character in Smash has to be Sonic the Hedgehog. Honestly. You wouldn't think Sonic would be so... I never thought I would ever be so good with Sonic. But Sonic, overall, is my best character. One of the... He is the fastest character in Smash. The fastest. We confirmed this already. He's the fastest thing alive in the gaming franchise. Okay, he's gonna be the fastest thing. Uh, his best move, Sonic's best move, is his spin dash. Honestly, that pretty much sets you up with Sonic. It sets up so many combos, so many easy combos. Like, for instance, spin dash, back air, spin dash, front air, side air, spin dash, up air. Spin dash, down air, spin dash, homing attack. You can mix so many things up with Sonic. But one of his most effective ways to kill with Sonic at low percentages is to grab, do up grab, then do up B, and then do up air. That pretty much kills opponents. And if that opponent pretty much sees that coming, they try using back air, tricking, or front air, wherever they're going. But um, just just try to change things up a little bit. My mic was starting to mess up. Uh, but. Like I said, Sonic has many attacks that are useful, such as his homing attack, like I said, and his aerial attacks. They're all good kill options. His down special, his down air, pretty much, is a spike, so it's a meteor attack. You gotta hit it right, though. If you can't hit that right, then you won't be good. But like I said, Sonic pretty much makes up for all of his flaws with his speed, like I said. He doesn't have great power. He did have great power until they patched him. In the recent, in the um, beginning of the game, actually, they patched his um, back air, his back throw. His 
back row will throw would kill people at very low percentages very early uh, so they pretty much um, nerfed that so he's not that as strong powerful as he used to his best kill moves are probably his his um side his side um smash and his down smash they're pretty much his, and his up smash they're all pretty strong but the easiest ones to hit are side smash and up smash they're pretty much the easiest ones to kill with down smash you have to kind of be precise with or people close around you the problem is we're using down smash it has a lot of lag to it so you really don't want to miss with that too much but that's the thing about sonic and captain falcon they don't have a lot of lag out there to move so they're really hard to f figure out and combo around but anyway guys, I hope you enjoy that. Like I said, I love using all five of these characters. Robin, Donkey Kong, Mario, Captain Falcon, and Sonic. But like I said, Robin's my number five, Donkey Kong's my number four, Mario's my number three, and Captain Falcon's my number two, and Sonic is my best character in Smash. I pretty much like to use these five, and well, that pretty much wraps it up though. Because you pretty much know my playstyle. I like to be a close-up and aggressive, and then with Robin, I just like to be, that's the only time I pretty much spaced out. However, I do like to get close up when I use Robin as well, so, but you know, all five of these characters deserve a good place in this top five for me because they're all very good for me. They're all characters I would throw in the tournament. If I were to go into a tournament now, I would use all five of these characters at least once and that's a promise but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that video um this is pretty much my ter first top five um video I will have another one out maybe later this month and not later this month and definitely next one like I said I'm gonna get one every month and pretty much show your support if you wanna keep seeing more of these top five let me know in the comment section I'm gonna see and tell me ways that I should improve on my top fives because this is the first one I'm doing and the first one I'm trying to discuss and it's kind of hard for me so if I need to improve somewhere just tell me now in the comment section okay but let's see if this um, new series can get a good amount of likes a good amount of support and I will keep making top fives for you guys but anyway hope you enjoyed that video this is Ty962 signing out peace